The Razor Blade 15 is finally here, uh, and I just did a complete walkthrough on it, which you guys can check out at the link below. But one of the coolest features about it that I kind of like is the fact that, for once, it's upgradable. Now, what I mean by that is that you can upgrade the RAM and the storage. Uh, it can be bought with 16 gigs of RAM and a either 256 or 512 gigs of SSD storage, but the maximum it can take is 32 gigs of RAM, which is crazy, and up to two terabytes of an SSD. There's a couple of different reasons why you might want to do that. Um, one is you can buy the lowest model storage, for example, like the 256, and then put in your two terabytes or your one terabyte or even the 512 for a lot cheaper than what Razer would charge out the gate. Or you could just spec the thing out all the way, or maybe even just like upgrade it as you need it. Regardless of the reason why you want to do it, uh, it's not hard to do. So in this video, really quick, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the RAM and the SSD in your Razer Blade 15. Okay, so the few things that we're going to need. First is a Razer Blade 15. Duh. If you want to check out a discount that I found, the cheapest I could find it was here actually at the link below, but I'm assuming you already have one if you're looking at this video. Next, you need a T5 screwdriver. This is to remove the bottom screws out of the laptop. I also have a link below for one if you need one. Phillips screwdriver, which will need to actually remove the SSD. So if you're only doing the RAM, you don't need this. Uh, but if you're going to change the SSD, you're going to need one. You probably have one in your house though, so that's probably fine. Otherwise, Again, I've linked below to a cheap one. A cheap USB drive. Now this is what we're gonna use to install Windows on the new SSD. I'll explain what that means later. Just know that you need a cheap one that is probably 16 gigs in size, just in case. And that's usually the smallest one you can find nowadays for maybe $5. Uh, again, I've linked one below if you wanna just use that one. You also need another external SSD. This can be a USB drive or just an SSD that you have that's external, doesn't matter. We're gonna use this basically to back up all of our files and also to put on a couple of drivers that we need once Windows is reinstalled because we're gonna lose all of those. Again, I'll explain that a little bit later. Then we're gonna need a USB mouse. The reason for this is because when we do the SSD upgrade, and again, this is only for the SSD upgrade as well, uh, you're gonna lose the trackpad because we're gonna lose the drivers for the trackpad. So any type of USB mouse, Windows will automatically detect and be able to use, whether it's wired or wireless. It just needs to have a USB dongle. So long as you have that, we're good. Then finally, of course, we need our RAM or our SSD, the new ones that we're gonna put in. Now for RAM, you can use a Sodim DDR4. I'm gonna use a 2,666 megahertz RAM. We have two memory slots for RAM on the laptop, so we need two modules to equal the total that we want. So for example, I want 32 gigs of RAM, which is the laptop's maximum, and duh. So I bought two 16 gig mods from here. Next, we need our SSD, which is going to be an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. Now there's only one slot for this, so whatever size you buy is the size you're gonna have. There's no need for math. I bought the GoTo super fast and well-priced 970 SSD Evo from Samsung. It's kind of the de facto one that everybody just uses because it's super fast, it's from a reliable brand, and it's relatively cheap compared to all of the other ones. For any of these, I've left a link below. Okay, so once we have everything that we need, we can get started. First, since there is only one drive in the Razer Blade 15 and that drive has Windows installed on it, when we remove it, we're gonna lose Windows, which is bad. So before we get started, we need to first make a backup of all the files on our computer that you need onto either your Microsoft OneDrive or that external hard drive that I suggested. You can just drag and drop everything and just make sure not to forget anything. Next, we can go to this page that I've linked below on Microsoft's site to download the tool they have for making this a lot easier. We're gonna click Download Tool Now plug in the USB drive to the Razer Blade 15, open the tool, click on Create Installation Media for another PC, and click Next and follow the steps. We're going to then select that USB flash drive. Again, this is the one that is the cheapo 16 gig one, um, not our external drive, don't do that. Then we're gonna hit Next, follow the steps again, and hit Finish when we're done. Okay, now we need to tell Windows to boot from this new USB drive instead of our installed hard drive first. This way that when we swap it out for the new one, it'll actually try to read what's on the USB drive and which will be our installer for Windows. And then we can use that to install Windows on the new drive that's in the laptop. So to do that, we're gonna head to PC settings. Then we're gonna go to update and recovery, recovery, and under advanced startup, click restart now. It'll reboot. And once it does, we're gonna click on troubleshoot. And by the way, when I say click, I mean use the arrows and enter key to select because you don't have mouse support in the screen sometimes. Troubleshoot, advanced options, UEFI firmware settings, and click restart. Then we can go over to boot 
And we're gonna move the order of booting so that the USB drive, which should still be plugged in by the way, is at the top and the other normal drive with Windows already installed on it below it. Then we can reboot into Windows and save settings. And now, like I said, we're gonna lose all of our drivers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go get the driver that I've linked below for the Wi-Fi adapter. This way that we can connect to the internet once everything is reinstalled and Windows is reinstalled. Um, from there, we can actually use Windows Update to get a lot of the other ones that we need automatically. So there's no point like scouring the internet for all of the uh, drivers that we might need for everything on the laptop. We're just gonna get the Wi-Fi one so we can access the internet and then let Windows kind of handle the rest from there. So click that link below, download the Wi-Fi drivers, and we're just gonna save that to our external drive, not our USB drive. Um, and then we'll have them whenever we're ready to go back. Okay, now first we'll do the RAM. We're going to turn off the computer. We're gonna flip it over. Uh, it's a good idea to put something soft under it, even if it's just like a paper towel so you don't scratch the lid. And then we're gonna unscrew the 10 T5 screws holding in the bottom and set them aside. Then using your fingers, we're gonna pry up the bottom plate until it just kind of clicks off. It shouldn't be too hard to do. Then gently undo the two pieces of tape holding down the ribbon cables that we can now see are covering our two RAM slots. There's no need to remove these pieces of tape. We're just gonna unstick them so that we can move the cables around. Pay attention in particular to the one attached to the socket, uh, in my case, the one on the right, as you need to pull it up along with the metal bar that's underneath it to unlock that socket. Once it's unlocked, you can gently tug on the ribbon cable horizontally as much horizontally as you can, not upward, and it'll just kind of slide out. Now we have enough room with that out of the way to get at our RAM modules. So we're going to unclick the two metal brackets on the side of our first RAM module. It'll just pop up and you can slide it out. Do the same for the other RAM module and set them both aside. Put in your new RAM in the same slots at the same angle and then click them down and just make sure that they lock into place with our metal brackets on either side. If you aren't going to upgrade the SSD, you can just put the metal bottom of the laptop back on, screw it back into place, turn on the computer, and you're all set. Now, if you're upgrading both RAM and SSD, we're gonna leave the computer open, and what we're gonna do now is you're gonna notice the M.2 SSD slot on the left side if your computer's facing the same way as mine. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to unscrew the one screw that is holding down the SSD. As soon as you do that, it'll pop straight up and you can slide it out, kind of like we did with the RAM. Then we're gonna put our new one back in uh, and then screw it back down so that it locks back into place. Once that's done, we can put on the bottom of the laptop, put in our screws and flip it back over. And we're gonna plug in our USB drive, the one that has Windows on it and turn on the computer. Now the computer should, because of all the other things we did earlier, show a recovery option from the USB drive to install Windows. You're just gonna follow the prompts there to make sure that Windows installs. Once it's all done and it has reinstalled Windows, we need to start installing drivers. And the first thing we need to do is plug in that mouse of ours um, by a USB and wait for that to install its own drivers really quick so that we have a mouse that we can use for the rest of this. And then we're going to plug in our external hard drive, the one that we had with the Wi-Fi drivers on it, and we're gonna drag and drop that installer for the Wi-Fi adapter onto our desktop, then double click it and follow the prompts to install the Wi-Fi drivers. Once that's done, we should have internet access by connecting to a Wi-Fi network, and we can go to settings, update and recovery, Windows update, and have it check for updates. It will find a bunch of them. So let it do its thing. It might even have to reboot a couple of times and then you're gonna have to go back into Windows Update and check again and just keep doing this until eventually Windows Update says that you are all set and up to date. Then you might also need to download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience from their site. I have the link below or you can just Google it uh, and then have that check for updates as well and that'll get the discrete GPU to work properly. And finally, you can re-download Razer Synapse 3.0 from their site Again, link below or Google it to get your device settings, your chroma, your macros, etc., all back. And there you go. If you want to check to make sure that the RAM is installed properly, we just have to go to settings, system, about, and confirm that the amount of RAM that we installed is actually showing under installed RAM. Then you can right click on your C drive and click on properties and make sure that that has the right amount of storage space that you installed as well. And there you go. You're all set. Uh, one last thing. Don't forget to sell, I mean, keep them for a little bit, but don't forget to sell the old RAM 
and the old SSD. They are worth a little bit of money, and you might as well sell them to make some of that back for the cost that you paid for the new ones. Uh, keep them for a little bit, make sure that like the computer's running fine for like a few days or a week, and then you can sell those because you won't need them anymore. But yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Razer Blade 15, of this tutorial, of other tutorials, of the channel, all these things. I just like to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Also, shout out to WeWork for letting me film in their space. I uh, personally have a WeWork myself. It's a co-working location that I've been using for about two years. I'm just a fan. They're not sponsored, I promise. Um, but if you guys want, they did offer a up to 20% discount for you guys signing up uh, just for a free tour to check out the space nearby. They're all over the world. Click the link below to do that. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, if nothing else, thanks for watching.